Cheeky Richo's Beef Roulade. Hi and welcome to Cheeky Richo's Beef Roulade. This German dish uses very thin sliced pieces of beef wrapped with bacon, mustard, onions, gherkins, rolled in flour and then browned off in oil and butter then topped with a good quality beef stock and cooked in the oven until done. Try to use a fry pan that is capable of being put into the oven so if it's got a metal handle that's all the better. The ingredients will be in the recipe box below. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to do is put our oil and our butter into our fry pan and put it to one side. Tip our flour into a plastic bag that's what we're going to be dusting our roulades in when they are made. And on a clean surface, lay out all of our pieces of beef. Now we are just going to smear a little of our mustard on each piece of steak, just a little. Then a piece of bacon, we're using shortcut bacon here, into each piece of steak. A little sprinkle of cracked pepper, some very fine slivers of onion, just very very finely sliced, just a couple. Spread those out a bit because we have to be able to roll this up so you don't want it too bulky or it won't work. And now we put a piece of gherkin in the center of each one. Now I've cut these gherkins in half because these are small slices of steak and except for that little guy there, he's very small and you will have less trouble rolling it up. And we just roll them up like so and secure them with a toothpick. Count how many toothpicks you use because you are going to want to get those back again before you serve up. So just take it with your fingers, roll it up, use a good quality toothpick with a very sharp spike on it. Just roll it up quite firmly, then get your toothpick like so, push it through and out the other side and that will hold it quite neatly. You can of course do this in kitchen string if you want to but this size meat it should be good. So do that with the rest, Just snug it in nice and tight there. You aren't going to be cooking all the way through to the center in the pan. It will continue to cook after it's been browned in the oven. So just once more to show you how it's done. And continue with the rest. Okay we put our pan on to a medium heat now and we have got our little roulades ready to dredge in our flour. So just grab a roulade, pop it in the flour, Toss it all around and that is what you should have and do that with the rest. It only takes a couple of seconds. If you do it in a bag you can just dispose of it afterwards and you have less mess. Also forces the flour into the lard to make sure that it gives it a nice even coating and you're able to use less flour this way so there is less waste. Okay, with our butter and oil probably hot, we're just going to add our roulades and cook them for a couple of minutes on each side just to brown. You just keep your eye on those, you just roll them around like little sausages and cook them until they're lightly browned all over. No, we need cooked, they're browned all over, so then we add our beef stock. Give it a little turnover. And again, another quarter turn to get a bit of colour on our brulard. And just another quarter turn. turn. Nice bit of colour happening there. This is as high as this heat's going to get for these. They're going into a gentle oven until they are cooked. The final service gets a bit of browning. Okay, our brulard's are nicely browned now. We're just going to sprinkle over the remaining slivers of our onion. 
and that will give it a nice sweet rich gravy and then our beef stock we've got no fat at all in the stock now we pop the lid on and it goes into a 150 degree oven for about an hour and a half. Okay, our little roulade are hot from the oven. It's time to remove them to a serving plate. And then we're going to just reduce this sauce down to a nice rich gravy. Okay, a bit of heat here. And we're going to reduce our sauce down. So just put that in a warm place. Okay, our sauce is reduced down to a nice rich gravy, full of flavour, all those reduced beef stocks and the pickles and the bacon and the beef. We're just going to turn that off now and pour it over our roulade. Okay, so just a little drizzle over our roulade. It's moist and tender and delicious. Sprinkle of parsley from a height, and there you have it. Cheeky Richo's Roulard. I hope you enjoyed this little cooking demonstration. If you'd like to see more interesting recipes and ideas, just check out our Cheeky Richo channel. And don't forget to please subscribe. And do come back and visit us again soon. We have so much more to show you. And we are uploading lots of videos every week. Thank you very much for watching. Cheeky Richo's German Feast. Beef Roulard. Quick Sauerkraut and German potatoes, all washed down with a nice glass of beer.